listening to the Equitable Access to Public Education report, an analysis of the growth of schools data reveals the number of public schools increased from 36,822 in 2010 to 42,010 in 2020, an increase of about 14%. Whereas over the same period, private schools which numbered 18,380 in 2010 increased to 39,070 in 2020, recording an increase of about 112%. A Development Africa Education Watch says hinders Ghana's achievement of the Sustainable Development Goal 4 of access to quality education. Over the years, we've seen a virtual stagnation in the number of basic schools being built. In many municipalities, we are hardly building even one school in a year. And as the research has, has, has um, pointed out, in Adenta, for instance, in the past four years, we've been able to build only two primary schools. If you have a municipality where over 90% of basic schools belong to private owners, it limits the ability of the urban poor to have access to basic education, which is free. The education think tank is advocating for a significant increase in government investment in basic education, arguing that the national budget should be increased from 13.1% to 15%. We have gotten to a point where the Ghana Education Trust Fund and other national level funds that usually supported the development of basic education infrastructure have either been capped or have declined in terms of their strength. And that is why it makes it very, very re relevant for local government stakeholders, education stakeholders, and the entire you know, citizenry to have a conversation around innovative ways of supporting district assemblies to live up to the mandate of providing basic schools so that the poor, urban or rural, will be able to access basic education. The report urges the Ministry of Finance to promptly disperse funds from GET Fund and the District Assembly Common Fund to resume work on abandoned school projects.